A number of Canadian environmental groups are arguing that once we get out of this COVID-19 uh, economic and health emergency, it's an ideal opportunity for Canada to become a low carbon economy. In fact, that's the worst thing we could do. The reality is we're going to need fossil fuel energy to power our economy back out of recession. What happens in every recession, and we're seeing it now, we saw it in 2008, is that as the recession gets deeper, fossil fuel energy, greenhouse gas emissions decrease. There's a simple reason for that. We use fossil fuel energy to transport goods and services, create them, manufacture them, grow them. One example, imagine the shape we'd be in right now if truckers couldn't transport their goods from the United States to Canada. Food, mass, respirators. You couldn't even build respirators without fossil fuel energy. When the economy will cover, the sure sign of it will be that these industrial greenhouse gas emissions are rising. If they don't rise, or if the federal government pursues policies to stop that, then we'll be in a recession for a longer period of time. More people will be out of work for a longer period of time. Theoretically, someday, we may be able to lower our carbon emissions and yet grow the economy because technologies like wind and solar power will be ready to provide base load power to us on demand. Right now they can't do it. Sun doesn't always shine, wind doesn't always blow. So the point being, as we come out of this recession, it's important not that our greenhouse gas emissions decrease, it's important that they increase. And to pursue policies that would make them decrease is the worst possible thing that could be done for Canadians who want to get back to normal life. I'm Laurie Goldstein. We're always interested in what you think. Please let us know and follow us on Facebook and our YouTube channel.